we're going to be doing cowboy coffee over the campfire. You can see I've got my enamel coffee pot out here. So folks, this uh, cowboy coffee isn't your normal coffee. It's not, it's not your drip coffee. This uh, cowboy coffee over the campfire, it's going to be rich. It's going to be flavorful. You're going to lose a lot of the acid in it. But cooking them up in these old boilers, I tell you what, it makes a special cup of coffee. So stick around and let us show you how to do it. You found Texas style barbecue and cuisine. I am Chef Johnny. This is my son, John. He always jumps in on uh, coffee videos when we're doing coffee. So uh, he picked one out tonight. What do, you, what do you got for us to try? Tonight I picked the Bear Fight from Bison Union. We've already tried the Smoke Hammer and the Ranch Hand. I guess you guys can tell I like it. I got the shirt from the Ranch Hand. <laughs> He's got the Ranch Smoke. Hand blend. And we've been drinking that one a while. So some of these are newer that we, that we haven't tried yet, but this is brewed by uh, Black Rifle coffee yeah. and not brewed by, uh, roasted by. And I actually think now they're roasting their own. Oh, really? Yeah, they've got their own roaster up there in uh, uh, Sheridan, Wyoming is where they're at. But a hey, Buster, Burt, Candace, super, super people. And uh, we get coffee from them regularly. And you can see we get t-shirts also. John's wearing his Ranch Hand Coffee uh, t-shirt. But we're going to show you how to make this. And I got one of my old boilers. I actually collect these. And I've got how many do you think I got? Probably 20. <laughs> I got a oh, bunch of them. My wife threatened me not to bring any more home, but I got smaller, bigger. This is kind of a medium sized one, but this will hold a little more than a gallon, but we're going to put a gallon of water in here. And the recipe's not hard. It's a gallon of water. And if you just got an old brewer, what you want to do is, um, is go right below your spout. So there's my gallon, and this one holds a gallon just below this spout right here. That's how full you want it to go. Now we're gonna get this on our uh, our fire ring back behind us. We've got a fire going already. And uh, we built this thing when, when you were a kid, right? It was about 10 or 12 probably. You know, so it, it, this thing, it's 15, 16, 17 years old anyway. So it's been around a while. And uh, we're gonna get this, we're gonna get our water hot first. Then we're gonna put in a cup of coffee. Uh, you, can get, you can get from Bison Union, you can get whole beans or ground. We buy the whole beans and grind them up so it'll stay fresher. But it's one tablespoon for every cup of water. And what you have to realize and be careful of is this, folks. When something says it's 12 cups, a lot of times they're talking about coffee cups. You know, a lot of people don't realize that. It's not an eight ounce cup, it's a coffee cup. So it'll be, it'll be five or six ounce cups is what they're talking about. But uh, when you make coffee, tablespoon for every eight ounce cup, a regular cup is what you're measuring. So we're gonna let this uh, get hot, then we're gonna add our coffee, bring it to a rolling boil, but let's go look at this uh, fire fire ring that him and his buddy Joey helped us build when they were just kids. And uh, y'all can see how we got it set up and y'all can see us get this coffee going. Let's get over there. Record? No, it's going. All right, we're gonna get this on. I'm gonna get this down low so that it is uh, right down by the fire. Put it on my hook. It's gonna help us get to a boil a little quicker. We're going to put it right there when this water gets warm. I'll let you see me uh, putting the coffee in and then uh, we're going to bring it to a boil and we're going to let it boil for about five minutes. Now, while that water's warming up over there, I'm just going to show you the difference in some of these pots. Ran in the bunkhouse real quick and I got two different ones. These old uh, kind of gray granite ware, I like these, these old speckled gray ones. They're kind of my favorite. Um, and both these are these are very old. But I tell you what, this white one, the thing that's nice about these white ones are, and I'll show you, I'll, I'll bring you in close and let you see is, but this one has a uh, rounded bottom. You can tell it's just been sitting on the shelf in there, kind of dusty, but see how the bottom's round? It's not gonna leak as much. Come in here, see this one's got that sharp edge. There you go, that's one of the different, that's a crimped edge. If you're gonna have one of these that leak, that's, that's the way to, it's gonna happen. Uh, if you wanna see if it has a, a hole in it or not, if you go to buy one at an antique shop or a junk shop, you can go outside, ask them, you know, before you, before you run out the door with the coffee pot. But hold it up to the sun, and uh, y'all probably can't see me do that, but you're gonna put it up at the sun, look through it, and see if you can see a light. If they want you to go outside, find the brightest light there is in there, and, and look through it to make sure there's no pinholes. You'll see it through the sunlight, though, I promise you. But uh, that's the way to do it, and, uh, these, these make excellent coffee. I've made a lot of coffee with my daddy growing up. Um, 
on the riverbank in just an old boiler pot. So I kind of, it's, it's very uh, meaningful to me to make this and to be able to share this with my son. So uh, that water ought to be warm by now. So let's get back over there and see if we can uh, see how it's going and get the coffee poured in. All right, I got this cup of coffee going into our All right, now we're uh, gonna let it come to a boil. And we'll let it boil about five minutes. See if we can see down in there. Look at it. Yeah, boy, it steam's coming off. See that water rolling in there? Look down in there. Y'all see where that's a, well, you see where that's boiling good right there, folks? That's the way we want it. We're gonna let it gonna go that way about, oh, about five minutes, then we'll pull it off this fire. Let's get this coffee off. Five minutes at a good boil, so let it cool. We'll get some coffee. All right, coffee's been sitting a little bit. Grounds have settled some. Also, though, to settle those grounds, a couple of things you can do. One is just take you some cold water, about a cup, and pour down your spout, and that's going to clear the spout. If you don't do this, first person gets a cup of coffee is going to get a cup full of grounds because it's going to wash everything out of the spout. Next thing is open up your lid. Pour you about a cup of water in there carefully. And this cold water will force those grounds down to the bottom. You hear a lot of old stories about put an egg in it, lay a stick over the top of it. Those don't work, but cold water does. I can tell you that. Now, while we're waiting for that coffee to settle a little bit, just gonna show you this. Uh, we looked at these a while ago. I gave you a close up of them, but this one, I didn't show you this. It's got a tipper on it. So you take your lid lifter, like we use for our Dutch ovens and stuff, and you tip that up to four cups of coffee. If you find a pot with one of these, those are always keepers. Always look for those. And remember, check for the pinholes. Told you how to do that a while ago. Um, and uh, I tell you what, if you can get one with the rounded edge, they really do uh, last longer, less chances of leaking than these cramped ones. But I like these old gray ones. They're just, they're sweet. These are my favorite, favorite ones of any kind of enamelware that I can get that's just model gray. These are the ones I, I catch. but. I bet you this has been uh, sitting long enough. Let's give that coffee a try. You ready? I'm ready. All right, we're gonna give it a try. The uh, bear fight is see how it turns out here. You ready? There you go. Let me get my. Oh wow, well, smells cup. great. There you go. Mama, you wanna come over here and try some? Hey, you guys are not practicing social distancing. Yeah. What is this, social drinking? <laughs> this is there it. There you go. I brought, right. I brought the Oreos. All right, no Oreos for me. That's what do y'all, what do you think? It's good. It's yeah, it's delicious stuff. Coffee, yeah. Great. Might be my favorite one yet. The glasses fog up. It's a good cup of coffee. That is. And it, you know, y'all even notice it, it lost the acidity. You don't have that acid in it like you do yeah, with a drip or a, even a perk. Yeah, I mean, I let when I use my percolator, uh, like for my campfire videos, I'll put a link below so y'all can see my campfire coffee. But uh, when we go camping on the stove, with that percolator, even though I let it boil pretty good and perk, it doesn't pull the acid out as much as this does of uh, letting it do it that rolling boil for about five minutes. So, anyways, you know, it, and I tell you what, it, it's uh, you let them settle, you pour the cold water, and you don't get coffee grounds. Do you don't get any grounds in y'all's? No. No, uh -uh. no it does. Uh, you know, this is a good cup of coffee. It's uh, a non acidic cup of coffee. And uh, if you got acid reflux and have cut back or stopped drinking coffee, you might want to try this because it's, it's good stuff. And like John said, this bear fight, uh, Bison Union, it's good stuff. There, and I'll put a link down below for, for all those guys, Bert and. Uh, Bird and Buster and Candace, they're, they're all good people and, and they uh, have shared coffee with us. We've done some giveaways for them and, and we buy their coffee. John's got their t-shirt on for their ranch hand blend. We like that one real well. Mom's eating cookies in front of me. <laughs> you think with me being on a diet, she wouldn't eat cookies in front of me. <laughs> but anyways, we're gonna give this one a thumbs up, folks. Definitely, thumbs up. Hope you all give this video a thumbs up. Really would appreciate it. Uh, thanks for stopping by. Share us with your friends and family, and we're going to see you all down the road on Texas-style barbecue and cuisine. Bye, everybody.